Hello losers, losettes, degenerates and degenerates and welcome back to YouTubers I'd Be Up number 3 and today we have a list of 15 YouTubers to go through. So let's just get this started shall we? We are starting right here uh, with I'm Alex. I'm Alex, oops, come on, so like, there we go. I'm Alex. This, this this is a really easy one, folks. Uh, I could definitely kick I'm, Alice, I'm Alex's ass. He's going, like, way up here. Like, on this list of people, if there's anyone that is a sure thing I'm going to kick their ass, it's I'm Alex. He's a little bitch. He's going to go up here. I mean, I'm cutting off half his face. That's how easy he's going to be. You can see that little eye. Um, what, what, what's I'm Alex's strengths? I mean, does he, does he have many strengths? His main strength is what? Being some sort of uh, snake or something? Like making false accusations against his own friends? Uh, those the, His skills, they're, they're really not things that are going to apply well in a fight. I mean, maybe if you're having some sort of Twitter battle, he's maybe got some sort of chance if he's like slithering behind the scenes. But up front with everyone, uh, trying to have a, a fist fight, no, he's he is not going to fare too well against Drag Reynolds. Uh, next up, we're going to go with Philip DeFranco. Now, Philip DeFranco, let, let's just be honest here, folks. He's old. He's an old man at this point. Uh, he's definitely going to be a harder fight than I'm Alex. I mean, he seems like he's an all right guy. He seems like he's... Uh, in decent shape, he seems like maybe he can throw a decent punch. But again, you're not talking about fighting any normal man, you're not talking about fighting some wimp, you're talking about fighting Rag Reynolds. And when you fight Rag Reynolds, the gloves come off and things get very, very serious. Philip DeFranco, I'm sorry, but you're not going to have much of a chance. And so you're definitely going to go in here somewhere, you're going to be closer to fair fight than I'm Alex. But you're still not going to do very well against me. And that's why you're going around here. Next up, uh, we're going with ContraPoints. ContraPoints is someone who, uh, honestly, they'll probably put up a harder fight than Philip DeFranco. I get the feeling that ContraPoints has some fierceness to her. Uh, ContraPoints might be a fierce advocate. She might talk my ears off before I get a chance to even throw a punch. Um... But no, she's still going to be on the side that I could definitely kick their ass. It's just going to be a little bit closer to fair fight. I feel like she's got some tools up her sleeve that can maybe throw me off a little bit more than these other people. But for the most part, I'm going to have not much issue with ContraPoints. Next up, we're going with Lodl. Uh, Lodl is a literal child. He's like 15 years old. And uh, yeah, I, I could definitely kick Lodl's ass. He's a fan of mine. You'll see him comment down in my comment section. And uh, yeah, sometimes this kid, um, I get the impression he just needs a good whipping. He like he, he needs a good punch in the face. Um, other times he's, he leaves good comments on my videos. But for the most part, I think this kid... Uh, he, uh, anyway, I'm going I'm going to kick his ass as as the point I'm trying to make here. I mean, he's might put up more of a fight than I'm Alex. And you know, you know honestly, that might just be because I'll refrain a little bit from punching this kid too hard in the face. I'm Alex, I'm, I might punch harder because he maybe deserves it a bit more. Lodl, I'm just more trying to teach him a lesson, so maybe he'll just I'll, I'll be I'll go a bit easier on him and for that reason he's still going over here but maybe not quite as far as the likes of I'm Alex. Uh, next up, we have Daz Black, also known as Daz Games. He made a video on me uh, years back about my Australia stuff. Uh, it, it was, to be fair to him, it was a funny video. I enjoyed his video, despite him uh, trying to take the piss out of me a little bit. I, I thought he made he made a good video. Um, I don't get the impression he's that tough. He, he looks very soft. He doesn't strike me as someone who's going to put up much of a fight. He doesn't strike me as a fighter. Um, although some of his pictures kind of look the other way. It's like in his videos, he's this fat, jolly guy, but then I see pictures like this and it's like, what are you doing? Are you trying to be part of some London street gang or something? I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he's going to come rush in with a bunch of his Chad friends or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I need to put him on, on par with ContraPoints here. Oh, someone's, someone's calling me. Hold on. I'm running late for lunch, apparently, so I better hurry up with this tier list, this uh, this fight list. Uh, next up, we have Jack Septicai. Jack Septicai, folks, folks, he's, he's a small Irish man who doesn't really strike me as your traditional sort of tough Irish guy. He's like a small Irish guy with too much positivity. There is no way in hell 
this little small Irish man is going to have any chance in a fight against me, you know. I'm going to put him on the same level as Lodl. That's how little faith I have in Jacksepticeye's fighting ability. Next up, we have Nick Acado, Avocado. As far as he goes, I mean, he's a, he's another easy fight. The, the guy's just obsessed with food. If, if I want to beat him easy, all I do is I throw a steak that direction or a cake that direction and he'll turn and go, Oh, food! And he'll run to go get it and then I'll punch him in the back of the head. It's not going to be hard, folks. It's, it's, it's not going to be hard. I don't even have to worry. What if he's not hungry? Of course he's going to be hungry. Do you see the videos he makes? Do you see the food he eats? He's going to be hungry no matter what. Uh, yeah, again, another one who's going uh, on this sort of Lodl and Jacksepticeye uh, section. Next up, we have Cecil McFly. Now, Cecil McFly is someone who's been asking me for a while to put them on my list. And I, I promised I would be very fair in my assessment. And my assessment here is that you're a little bitch, Cecil McFly. McFly? McFly. And I'm going to kick your ass just as bad as I'll kick N Nick Akado's ass. In fact, I might even kick your ass worse than Nick Akado's ass. Because you dare challenge Drag Reynolds. You dare think you have any sort of thing you can put up against me. You dare to think. You stand a chance against me. I need to put you in your place, Cecil McFly. And that is why you're going here almost as low as I'm Alex, because I'm going to be coming into this one fully trained, I'm going to be in this one completely ready to take you on, there will be no exceptions to any of my punches, I will be not holding back in the slightest, I will pummel you into the ground and you will know your place. Next up we have Boblax, Boblax, um, I do not mind beating up someone with autism, in fact it might even encourage me to go a little bit harder, so I'm going to put him in here. Uh, next up, we have uh, Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna, okay, she might be one of the toughest ones here. I'm going to actually put her on this side of Fair Fight because that woman kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, look at her face right here. That that woman is terrifying. She is. She reminds me of the Joker in Suicide Squad. I'm just. Where, where's the damage? That she's basically got damage written on her forehead. That doesn't say damaged, but it's the same sort of thing. I dubs, uh, maybe I dubs of old would put up a good fight, but I dubs these days, he's, he's, he's not all that impressive. And honestly, I'm going to put him in here between Philip DeFranco and uh, Daz Black and ContraPoints. Next up, we have the Rewired Soul. This is another guy. No, you're not putting up much of a fight. In fact, Philip DeFranco is going to do better. Uh, Rewired Soul, shut your mouth. What are you doing? Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder. What was what he going to do? Rant at me? It's going to be like ContraPoints, but the opposite. He's going to rant at me things and... Blah, 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 blah. I believe this. Change my mind. I'll change your mind with a punch to the face, Steven. You will lose. You're going here on par with these two. Repzilla. Repzilla. Right. Again, this is another guy who does not strike me as a fighter. I feel like Repzilla is the kind of guy you could walk up to him, give him a little shove, and he'd say, Oh, here, take my lunch money, please, just take take it and leave me alone. I feel like that's the kind of guy Repzilla is. That's the vibes I get. And for that reason, he's going to go down here. Like, I, I, I think I would have a better t chance against Lodl than I would have against Repzilla. I feel like Repzilla is just going to roll over in a little ball and cry. Anyway, finally, we have Count Dankula, a fellow Scotsman. And honestly, he's going to go probably on par with Gabby Hanna. He seems like a, a tough guy. He seems, um, f yeah, he, he seems like a formidable foe. But honestly, not that formidable. I don't get the impression that he's all that tough. And so honestly, folks, this may actually be the easiest uh, tier list I've made yet. The easiest fight thermometer. Because I've literally no one over here in the they would absolutely kick my ass section. And that has not happened in any of the two other videos I've made doing this. Uh, this is the only one where everyone has kind of been on this side of like this, these two thirds. No one is in that first third. Um, so yeah, this has been one of the easiest ones and honestly, I'm okay with that. If you want to see me make more of these uh, fight thermometers, more YouTubers I could beat up videos, then leave your suggestions for YouTubers that you'd like to see my opinions on whether I'd beat them up or not in those comments down below. Feel free to even leave yourself as a suggestion if you are a YouTuber, and I will be sure to rank you on this list fairly. And until next time, you're welcome, society.